everybody. This is Isabel, owner at Balje Boutique, as well as KarinaBell.com. And today I'm working on making the block for basic pencil skirt or basic straight skirt. Now the measurements you'd need for that would be your waist, which I'm going to make sure where, well, I have a string around my, for my dress. So you tie a string around your waist and wherever it settles on your waist, that is where your waist is. You take the circumference of that. You also do the circumference of your hip, which will be the widest part across your bum area. And then you also need the distance from here to where that widest part is, down that distance, as well as your finish length, wherever you want your skirt to finish. And you get those measurements. Then after you get those measurements, see my little chart here? With the, with the measurements, the numbers, and then I divided the waist and the hip front and back. Seeing that we are really three-dimensional, we're not flat pieces of board, sometimes we have more in the front or more in the back. So in my waist, for 30, I put at the front 15 and a half, and for the back, 14 and a half. I made my back, seeing that I have a little rise in the front and as well as I have a rise at the back, my back measures 23 and the front 21 across my hip. And that is important, you will see as I start flooding on the skirt pattern. If you're, you have a completely flat stomach, you can divide it up evenly, then that would be 15 and 15. Or if you have no rise at all in the back, Again, you can divide that measurement up evenly for the back and the front. All right, so let me drop down the camera to the paper. Now on the paper, what I've done so far is squared. See that I have the paper cut and I made it smaller so that it's easier to manage so I can show what I'm doing. So what I've done so far is squared using my square. I have a perfectly straight edge here. So I use this to square the top off, seeing that my edge up top here was, was not straight. So I squared that off. Now I set this aside. Now using my measurements I took earlier, I'm working on the front. So this, you can mark this CF, this straight line is gonna be your center front. All right, and usually this is placed on the fold so we're gonna start there. So I have for my measurements, now remember, this, see that this part is gonna be on the fold, this is actually half of your actual front or one quarter of your skirt. All right, so keep that in mind, it's one quarter of your actual skirt. So for the front waist and my skirt, I have 15 and a half. So I find half of that, which would be seven and a quarter, and I have seven and a quarter here. I put a dot, because that's not where my last line will be. But I also need a dart in my skirt. My dart is going to be one inch wide. So I make another dot for the allowance for where the dart goes. I don't usually build in my seam allowance on my skirt. If you would like to, you're free to do that. You can add the extra inch or three quarter, whatever your seam allowance is going to be. Now, my distance from my waist to my hip, that length is eight inches. So from that line up top, I go down eight inches. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So I go down eight inches. Put a dot. And the reason why I'm putting a dot is because this is not my fixed area where my line is going to be because now I have to measure across, all right, from that area. Before I do that, I'm so used to doing things um, eyeballing just because I've been doing it for so many years. But it's best if you now, where that eight inches falls, you take your square again, 
place it along the edge of the paper, making sure it's straight. And that point where it sits at the eight inches down, the length of my head, you just draw a line as long as possible. You can go all the way to the edge if you want or not. So you have that line there. So now the distance of my hip, of course, like quarter of my hip at the front, because remember I said I allowed more for my back because I have more back there. So for the front, which is 21 inches, which will be half, I need half of this 21, which is now going to be 10 and a half inches. So I make that point there. So that is where my line is going to sit. And now the same distance. The same distance. 10 and a half is where it's going to line up in the bottom of my skirt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find now the length. The length of my skirt is 25 inches. So I measure from the top line where the waist is, and I get to 25 inches. I need you guys to see 25 inches. All right. You do that same thing on the center front line. You go down 25 inches. Now, remember we got 10 and a half across at the head. This is using my measurements. Remember, these are you're gonna use measurements suited to your body. These are my measurements. So I have to find 10 and a half. This is across the hemline. 10 and a half, because we're making a straight skirt this is your basic straight skirt it's not a pencil skirt it is not a flare it's not a line it's just a straight skirt so now at this point what we do using the hip curve you may have one that looks like this or you may have one that looks like this which can also be used all right so, where it starts at the one up top, you use this for the top at the waist. You're connecting your points. So remember you have the waist plus one, and then from that point to the hip measurement, we're gonna connect with as smooth a curve as possible. We're connecting that line. And then you're gonna use your ruler or the straight edge on this, all right? I'll use my square. You're gonna connect down to the bottom where we cut to that point. It's the same distance here as it is across the hip. You're gonna connect those lines using the straight ruler. You connect that. And then, what you do, if this line does not look as smooth as it, it can, you can go in and either smooth it off by hand all right smooth it off by hand or use the ruler in areas where it is possible to create a smoother curve all right so now we have we have to put the, the dart in at the waist. Now to find your dart measurement, where you want your dart to sit, it usually lines up with your bust point. And the bust point goes straight down to the dart, the same way you have the points on your, on your bodice. So now my bust point here, from point to point, is it's seven inches so half of that seven inches would be three and a half so my dart would actually be the middle of my dart from my waist would be three and a half half inches all right from the center front so now three and a half from the center front is going to be where your dart one side starts 
then you're gonna go over one inch from that because we left one inch for the dart. Now we find the middle of that, one inch. So from the middle of that dart to the center front is now actually four inches. Like I said, remember I'm using my measurements. So based on the measurements you get and your dimensions, you're gonna do accordingly using the same method. So I have four and a half inches as the middle of the dart. Sorry, four inches. So I, my dart is gonna be four and a half inches long. But I also have to make sure it lines up perfectly. So it's gonna be straight. So it, it must be four inches over by four and a half inches down. So that right there, that dot right there, that's the middle of my dart. So that's how I connect my dart. Now, from the top of the waist, we connect to the point and form the dart. As you can see there. When I'm done, I'll hold, I'll hold the whole thing up so you can see. Now, what you're going to do at this point, you're actually going to true up your pattern to make sure everything lines up nicely. So, this point here, if you notice, I did not connect this line across the bottom here just yet for the hemline. Because, although straight down it measures 25 inches, now that we have this line, which is slightly curved, if we put the point here, it's going to be off. So we have to measure, measure along the line, follow the curved line from the waist, follow the line until you get to 25. And if you notice, this is the line here, but 25 actually curves here. If you have wider hips, this marking is actually going to go up even higher to allow for the curve. So now, what you do is that point that we marked here at 25, we connect it with the curved ruler. See that my curve is ever so slight, I go this way. And then I'll connect it. Like that. And that's my hem. And to the top of the skirt, it's not going to be a straight line. We're going to go down at the center front, right here. You're gonna go down like three eighths of an inch. So it's gonna the waist is gonna be a slight curve. Because like I mentioned earlier, we're not we are three-dimensional, so lines are gonna be more curved than straight on our patterns. And you've come up to nothing to the point where at the top of the line. So now I can clear this off. This is what your pattern looks like, more or less. All right, so that right there is your basic center front skirt. Now, stay tuned for the other part for the back.